What's up everyone and thank you for joining me for episode 42 of the Out of Sight Sports YouTube series. We are wasting no time and getting right to it. If you thought the past two weeks have been rough, let me introduce you to the Florida State Seminoles, currently starring in their own horror movie, When Football Dreams Become Nightmares. This season was supposed to be their comeback tour, but it's looking more like a tragic comedy that even Shakespeare or Stephen King couldn't dream of. Let's rewind to the start. FSU ranked number 10 in the nation, hyped up as the ACC's golden child. Two games in, and they've gone from top 10 to why even bother? Faster than you can say, what happened to the Seminoles? Take Monday night, for example. The mighty Seminoles got steamrolled by Boston College. Yes, you heard that, right, Boston College. DJ Wiagalele, FSU's new QB, threw an interception that was so bad, even the ref was like, bro, are you sure you're playing for the right team? FSU's offense was like a bad TikTok dance. Everyone was out of sync. The QB was doing moves no one asked for. In the defense, well, they, they were just vibing on the sidelines, apparently. Even the refs had their fun when TJ Ferguson got called for unsportsmanlike conduct, only for BC's Neto Opala to hit the gritty, like he was auditioning for Dancing with the Stars. And it's not just the offense. That sucks. The defense? Let's just say they couldn't stop a parked car right now. Boston College ran for 268 yards, like they were playing against air. FSU's linebackers were so lost out. There, they might as well have been using a map or damn GPS to find the ball. But wait, there's more. Remember when FSU got the ball back after halftime? It was their big moment to turn the game around. What did they do? Oh, just threw a desperate fourth down interception that was returned to their own seven yard line. Two plays later, Boston College was dancing in the end zone and FSU was left wondering where it all went wrong. Let's talk about penalties, shall we? FSU was flagged seven times, seven. Meanwhile, Boston College had just one penalty. At this point, it's like FSU is playing a different sport where the goal is to see how many times you can shoot yourself in the foot. Fans are wondering, is this real life or just fantasy? One fan said, I've seen newborn children more physical than these jokers. Another joked, FSU, more like FS who? I didn't even know they were allowed to play after losing to Tech. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. The silver lining, there's nowhere to go but up from here. Unless, of course, they manage to lose to Duquesne next week. In that case, we might as well start a petition to officially rename the team the Florida State Criminals for the torture they've put their fans through. On that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment on how you think FSU will finish this roller coaster of a season. And be sure to follow us on social media, OOS Sports, across all platforms for more out of sight content from the sports world. No, thanks for your support once again. Have a blessed day and great rest of your week.